West Virginia will take on Kansas tomorrow after taking out Texas Tech in the first round tonight. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. KU swept the Mountaineers in the regular season, but the second game in Allen Fieldhouse went down to the wire. But that's the championship weekend we expect to see anyway, right? And Fox 4's Jacob Kittlestad has been talking to the most hardcore of hoop heads leading up to tonight's matchups. Jake, some of the fans you talked to plan to attend every tourney game. Well, that's right, John. And of course, you have fans out here today who are supportive of these lower seeded teams. But then you also have people who are just seeking out this specific action, this situation where teams are clawing to stay afloat in the tournament, where obviously you don't want to end up in the bottom rung. It's a little slice of home for Mike Mathers, who now lives in Knob Noster. I was born and raised in Parkersburg, West Virginia, Wood County. Let's go Parkersburg South. My hometown is very much like Knob Noster. I was in the Air Force for 24 years. Decided to stay here because I can see more Big 12 games. When we were buying the tickets, I was like, oh, I have a, I have a hat that'll be perfect for this event. I hope we can uh, go on go through the tournament a little bit longer than this first night. It was a close game the last time the Jayhawks played West Virginia, right? Three points. So how do you feel about them potentially advancing here? We'll play whoever advances. <laughs> Jean Ann Wilson is a KU fan. Her plan is to watch every game in the tournament with her daughter her fourth year in a row doing it. When KU plays, I get stressed out. Yeah, I absolutely do, but you just kind of... You ride the wave. Yeah, that's right, you ride the wave, whatever that is. But... Texas Tech's pep rally also had a local connection. On the Palm Squad, Olathe Northwest graduate Emma Thielen is back home from the South Plains of West Texas, a privilege for her family still living locally. She pretty much taught me everything I know. I follow along basketball. There's so many basketball games we can't go to all those, but if the Texas Tech comes up here, we try to go to as many as we can. It's a lot of fun to be able to be this far away from home and still be able to support our teams right here in, kind of lo in our local area now. And we also have our eye on this Oklahoma-Oklahoma State game. Oklahoma State is currently up. That team will advance to play Texas and down the line potentially could play K-State in the semifinal round, John. Jacob Kittlestad live downtown in the Power and Light. Jake, thanks.